Good morning, everyone. I'm Martin Wenzel. This is American Truck Simulator. I am in Camp Verde, Arizona, and we're going to continue our trip on to Raton, New Mexico, hauling a bunch of tires in the Schneider trailer. Got our lights on, and let's hit the road. It's about 6.15 in the morning. Let's disengage that parking brake. And we'll be taking the 17 up to Flagstaff and to the 40, and then we'll take the 40 over to the 25 in Albuquerque, and then that will take us up to Raton in the north side of New Mexico. I just ran the ran the stop sign. Verde River. Got 600 miles to go, about 10 hours, and we should be able to make it. We'll arrive there, showing about 4.35 p.m., so probably 5, 5, 5.30. We do have to take a half hour break in the middle of the day, DOT mandated. But we'll have plenty of time to make it this evening.
got a broken down truck. A really damaged truck. Ouch. And that car just decided to pull into my lane and go slower. Thanks a lot. Ugh. Stupid of him. Like I was gonna start merging over and then he just pulls into my lane. Guess I wasn't going slow enough for them. So we're going through the petrified forest right now, or that swath of land that is all the same uh, basic rock formation. And if we get off here, we can go to the petrified forest national park. I've been there. It's it's crazy. You see those uh, rocks that used to be wood, used to be logs. And the rocks very much look like pieces of wood. I mean, you can see the rings of the old trees, but it's all rock now. It's quite amazing, and if you ever get a chance, get out there and check it out. Give yourself time. Uh, we didn't give ourselves as much time as we should have, but we had to get out of the National Park and get to our campsite just to the west of Flagstaff right on the road to go up to the Grand Canyon so it would have been nice to give ourselves a little bit more time in the petrified forest but what we saw was awe-inspiring and we've had two trips like that the past two years we went to South Dakota Badlands, Black Hills, Mount Rushmore, Crazy Horse. And that was, it's every time I go it's amazing and then this is the first time I've been to the Petrified Forest and the Grand Canyon and that just blew me away. And again, there, nothing can prepare you for it. This game does not do the landscape justice at all. I mean, it looks, it looks pretty amazing on here. And this is what it looks like. But in real life, it's even more awe-inspiring and just amazing looking. All right, so we're about to enter New Mexico. Headed back east. We're going towards Albuquerque, and then we will swing north on the 25 to Rattan, New Mexico. Welcome to New Mexico, the land of enchantment. What on earth? Oh, my God. God, I mean, what is this? I just, I look away for a split second and these cars all just hit their brakes and stop. What are you doing? Man. All right, well, jeez. It's just getting pretty ridiculous, this trip. Now we've had two near, well, we had one accident and almost tipped the truck that time. Luckily, no more damage. Coming to this new way station. New style way station. Much more to it than the Arizona, Nevada, and California ones. Uh, did I pull too far forward? Ah, well, this guy's not going to let me back up. I pulled too far, so I guess we're just going to have to continue on our way. And I already got a $200 fine for the bump there. This... <laughs> yeah, well, what do you want me to do now? Do I have to go around? I guess I could do a swing around here.
Nope. Invisible wall. Uh, this... <laughs> this has become a little bit of a frustrating trip. Thought for sure I'd be able to like, maybe swing around and go through again, but... Yeah, it's just all invisible walls. Okay. Well, now we know there's invisible walls everywhere. We know that I am going to get in trouble for not stopping at this way station, but I did pull up. I guess I just pulled up too far. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do about it now. The truck behind me cost me about $200. So, another setback on the career. I'm running the border. Not sure what will happen. This is the first time I haven't been able to actually weigh at the weigh station. And I got another $320 fine, so that basically wipes out the earnings for this trip. Yep, that's going to wipe out the earnings for this trip, so we're just going to end up even. Back at about $7,000 when we finish this trip. And that's a little frustrating. get off here at Sky City, stop at the truck stop for our half hour break. an interesting little uh, corner to the road. And another big truck stop to discover. I think that will be another achievement. Yep, our third truck stop tour achievement actually pull through right here. Alright, I'm going to take my half hour break. It'll be about 2 o'clock when I get out. We'll pull over there and get some gas. So, see you in half an hour. 
All right, welcome back. It is about 2.03. Let's scooch on over to the gas station, the pumps, and fill up. We need a little bit of gas to make our trip. Should be able to get gas here. Let's try to get to our destination. We're gonna be pushing the clock here. Seven o'clock will be our destination, our arrival time. And hopefully don't get any more traffic follow-ups.
Alright, we're coming into Albuquerque. And we're going to be taking a left to go north. Well, probably be a right, but eventually we'll be on our left to go north at the big interchange. On to the north, I-25. And that will take us to Raton, New Mexico, 240 miles from here. And we'll get there in about four hours. Barring any unforeseen stops or traffic incidents. sooner than later. So we want the 25 North, Santa Fe, the control city on the side. For this exit is correct. This is Montgomery Boulevard, but then when you get on the road, it says East West Lincoln Avenue. So I'm not sure what's that about because if you look at a map of Albuquerque, there is a Montgomery Boulevard. It is that exit. But then the road itself, there's a sign that says Lincoln Avenue for some reason. And there is no Lincoln Avenue right there. Not sure what SCS was looking at when they put that in. Sometimes I wonder what map they're looking at. Cash loans on car titles, 5550877. All right. Well, we are gonna need a cash loan eventually. Sandoval County Line. That's the first time I've seen a county line in New Mexico. There's a little interesting little place up here. Whoa. Looks like I got a little bit less control over my truck today. I did turn off the force feedback just so I wouldn't get so much noise in the background. Catching it on my mic. Santa Fe Relief Route. Santa Fe County Line. Alright, so we got County Line signs here on the 40. Relief Route, North 599. 2, 285 North, Farmington, next right. Alright, well we're staying on the 40, or on the 25. Never mind, as I was saying, it's County Lines. We're getting the County Lines on the 25. I got some trains or something here. What is this? Oh, that's interesting. Got a rail line in the middle of the freeway. I'm not too familiar with Santa Fe and New Mexico, so I don't know what train that is. But we are coming up on Santa Fe. Or rather, Santa Fe is probably all around us at this point. A lot of interesting exits going on right now. It'll be really fun to explore that once we get a job to Santa Fe, or going through Santa Fe.
taking a rather interesting route right now. And if my GPS is centered, you know, north to the top, we're right now traveling directly south. And we have been traveling east on the 25, so it takes a very interesting uh, little path here around Santa Fe. We look directly to our right, you know, quite a few miles, obviously, but the 40 is right down there, probably on the side of this ridge of mountains. So right now we're going directly east, and soon we'll be turning north again after going around Santa Fe. Weather's turning a little cloudy, getting a little darker. 6.30 in the evening, clouds are starting to form. And we are 21 miles out from our destination. Raton, next to exits. This is the last stop in New Mexico, and unfortunately, we will not continue traveling into what would be Colorado, I believe. Uh, still probably a couple, at least a couple states away, depending on which direction they choose to go. I believe I'm on the right exit. City number 10 in New Mexico we have discovered. And so far nothing much to look at. Except for a sign advertising Texas Steakhouse in Amarillo on the I-40. I had the chicken fried steak when I went there. Cimarron Avenue. That's cool, we got the Rattan up on the hill there, the little star. Let's get into first gear so we can make this turn without stalling out. I'm sure the people behind us will appreciate that. And we will drop off this load and get back to where we were to start the day money-wise. Money Unfortunate series of events at the near the way station causing us to lose out on $500.
pull in right here. Another military vehicle. Looks like a couple military vehicles. Okay, where do we have to park? Probably gonna be a back in on the other side of these boxes. My favorite place to drop off. Yes. All right. We might be able to turn right here. Alright, I had to give up parking because I got myself in a position I just could not get out of, so I just quick parked it, didn't get any bonus points for that, but I still get an excellent job completed despite having an accident and the issue at the way station, so we earned $558, that brings us about even for the day. And 843 XP, we are now a level 8 enthusiast, so let's pick another skill, and let's go with long distance. Right now we can take deliveries up to 1,000 miles. Let's go to 1,600 miles. Let's see what kind of jobs we can get with that. Well, that was Sunday. It was a little bit of an eventful trip with some misadventures, some accidents, and going through a weigh station and not getting weighed. So we broke even for the day. We're back at $7,000. So until next time, I'm Martin Wenzel. Take care.